I was here earlier talking to Lenzen, but now I just want to show you Lenzen here for a sec. This here is Lenzen. Hi, Lenzen. Hi. <laughs> what? Hi. He's so, he is so shy. Um, do you know the type of crowd that was attending the concert? We understand the crowd was mostly young people who were interested in Christian rock music, so okay. teenagers, I guess. Um, do you think because the crowd was maybe uh, obese, that could have led to the balcony collapsing? Now, uh, do you think that maybe it collapsed because the band, um, the band wasn't so good? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'm no expert. <laughs> I would have to say the quality of the music probably had nothing to do with the floor collapse. What? No, I'm not a boy humper. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think makes a successful 50 rider? <laughs> <laughs> the bike's like a foot tall. <laughs> Maybe now that I don't write this. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're at the stunt spot. We're all riding our bikes. Lenden's out on his 50, right? I didn't have a bike, so I'm just kind of borrowing everybody else's shit. And uh, the other guys went to get something to eat, right? I think it was four of us in total. So the two other guys went to eat. And, uh, you know, we asked them, can you bring us Subway or whatever? So Lenden and I were at the spot by ourselves. He was he was riding his 50 and stuff. So anyways, they left, and about five minutes after they left, um, Lenzen came and parked next to next to me where I was sitting, right? And it was the strangest feeling. I got this shiver, you know, down my spine. I had no idea what was going to happen, but I thought was, this was odd. Like, why would he just park his bike next to me? Well, next thing I knew, his hand was down my pants. Now. Any normal guy would, would be, like, fucking shocked, right? And be like, oh, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, don't be gay, you know? But I thought to myself, hey, this is a good opportunity to, you know, squeeze one off. Who cares if it's Lenzen? I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. He, you know, he has soft palm olive hands. So it felt good. I closed my eyes and totally felt like my hand. So, next time, you know, when you have a girl and she's trying to give you a hand job and it's taking way too long, call up your buddy. Call up your buddy. He'll come over. He'll do it. Because us guys, we know how it's done. And Lenza knows how it's done, too. That's all I got to say. There's my tip.